Oh no. Lilo and Stitch have Dun Dun Please! If you encounter this, number one, don't panic. Number two, get yourself some unscented dish soap and get to work. Get a nice stream of warm water going. Remember, babies this young and kittens in general need to be kept warm, especially when they're given a bath. I like to use the kitten lady method of putting a ring of soap around their neck. That prevents the fleas from their body making their way to their head. And go ahead and add some soap and lather. If you have a really bad flea infestation, like Lilo here, you're gonna notice that the water will run a red color. And that's because fleas are disgusting. They literally live off the flesh of these babies. Not only that, but they can carry other parasites like tapeworms. It is so important to get fleas off of your kittens as soon as you see them. Little babies like Lilo and Stitch here can become anemic pretty fast when they are infested with fleas. After you lather, you're gonna wanna get them a towel and start drying them off soon. Remember, kittens this size cannot regulate their body temperature. This process needs to be done pretty fast. Once you got them wrapped in a towel, you can start combing through and getting those excess fleas. You can't really see it in this video, but there were so many fleas on her face. This poor baby has such a thick coat of fur that they were just buried in there. There were so many. After you have successfully combed through the kitten, Get them dry. This is time sensitive. I personally like to use a hair dryer, put it on the low setting, and hold it about six inches to a foot above the kittens. It gets them dry pretty fast, and it's not so hot that it's gonna burn them. Then once you're all done, you're gonna wanna not put them back in the flea infested space and put them in a different place while you clean their original enclosure. Gonna grab Stitch and put him in a flea free space and get all of those towels and blankets wrapped up and thrown into the washer as soon as possible. If you look closely, you can actually see some of the fleas and flea dirt on those blankets. Fleas are notorious for hiding in fabrics like this. So if you discover a flea, get that bedding changed ASAP, get your babies clean, and if they're old enough, get them on a flea preventative such as Revolution for Kittens. Now just to recap here, you want a soap circle around their neck. Keep fleas from the body, go into the head. Have a warm water stream going and lather that baby up. Don't be afraid to lather, lather, lather. One thing that I wasn't able to cover in this video is washing their head. For that, I highly recommend you checking out Kitten Lady's video on YouTube all about flea baths. She walks you through that pretty wonderfully. Wrap them up, comb them, and work on getting them dry. Remember, this is all time sensitive, especially with little ones this small. Your first priority is getting the fleas out. Your second priority is making sure that they stay warm. Get them some fresh bedding, a new toy, and be prepared to repeat this process a few times. Rarely do I get them all on the first try. You got this.